Welcome back to How to Cake It. This is Yo's recipe box, and today I'm making coconut cake, man. <laughs> I was not expecting. <laughs> I used this coconut cake recipe in my beach themed video. You can check it out. There's a link in the description below or just click over here. We're gonna place our salted butter, sugar and vanilla into the bowl of our mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. And now we need to crack some eggs. I have eight eggs in total, but we're gonna use four of them whole and four of them just whites. Now I need to mix my flour, my baking powder, and my coconut all together in one bowl. This coconut is sweetened desiccated coconut. Just kind of want to get the coconut coated in flour. Our final ingredient is coconut milk. Coconut milk is the milk squeezed out of a coconut. I actually saw them making fresh coconut milk in Thailand. It was awesome and tasted amazing, but you can buy it in a can at a grocery store. Sometimes it sort of separates in the can and there'll be like the thicker portion and the thinner portion. Just give it a good stir. It makes this cake so moist and delicious. So I'm gonna cream my butter, sugar, vanilla on medium high speed for about five minutes. Get it nice and light and fluffy. Now I'm gonna turn my mixer back onto the lowest speed, which is stir speed for me, and I'm gonna add my eggs two at a time. I just wanna stop my bowl and scrape down the sides once again before I add my whites. I'm gonna add my egg whites again on stir speed, two at a time. Now once again, I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl and the paddle and give this another good stir. Now finally, we're gonna add our flour coconut mixture and our coconut milk alternately. So I'm gonna start with flour and end with flour and I'm gonna add flour in four parts and coconut milk in three. You wanna add your dry and wet ingredients on stir speed, otherwise you will be wearing them. Once again, I'm gonna scrape down the paddle and the sides of the bowl, Jocelyn. You need to add this smell to our How to Cake It perfume roster. Coconut cake batter. This is subtle. This is like first date material. I'm just gonna turn my mixer back onto speed two, give this a good mix for like 20 seconds, and then we're done. Now, you can see that it's a nice, thick batter, and it smells delicious. Give your batter a final good stir. Make sure that there's nothing at the bottom of your bowl. You really like to scrape down bowls, yo. Scraping down the bowl is important when baking. You would know that if you ever baked anything, Jocelyn. <laughs> Ask Jocelyn yeah. what she's ever baked in her life. Have you ever baked anything? Um, I ha I'm sure I have. I just can't and think of it right now. <laughs> I have, but I can't think of it right now. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna bake my coconut cakes in three eight inch round pans. I'm just gonna divide my batter evenly between. I'm gonna eyeball it today, you know why? Cause I'm relaxing on the beach and I didn't bring my scale. Ta-da! Wait, you can't do that Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bake these cakes, which I'm gonna use for my beach themed cake, at 350 degrees for about an hour. Always test your cakes with a toothpick. Just put it in the center. When it comes out clean, you're good. Number one rule. Well, I have some other rules, but today it's that one. Thank you for watching How to Cake It. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit a million by my one year anniversary on February 9th. If you haven't checked out any of my other recipes in my recipe box, do that too. I should bake these in the sunshine. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. Was that good? How good was that dance? So there are three coconut cakes on a beach and... <laughs> no jokes start like that. <laughs> we should have come up with one. No, we should have. <laughs>